Hey, good morning. This is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens. And today we're here in Mount Clemens, Michigan. What we're going to do in this backyard behind me is a six to eight foot long pondless waterfall for the sweetest lady in the world. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Thank you. Hey puppers, how you doing? That's Izzy. Oh, Izzy looks a little scared. So this is the area over here that we're going to create a pondless waterfall. We're going to have the basin down here and we're going to, we'll put the spillway up on top, twist and turn it, have it come down at the bottom. So hopefully what we're going to do is we're going to blend this in so that way it looks like it's always been here and just adds a little bit of charm to this beautiful English garden that's been created with a lot of love. Okay, so Dan has told me lots of stories, fantastic. Like pianos with water making them play tunes and various things like that. But my story is old and very natural. I lived up a mountain and traffic couldn't get up there. The way we got water was at the side of the mountain, a half pipe came out and the water trickled through it. It was beautiful water. We'd take a bucket, fill it up, and that would be our drinking water. So when I was in St. Clair, it was nothing like it, but I pretended that I recreated the side of the mountain. I had um, broken cement and made my, like maybe a 15 foot long wall. And in the middle, I had water coming out of that pretend mountain. So Dan's got a real big problem here because we want a sheep wall and we want a waterfall coming out of it, but not really looking like a waterfall. The sound in St. Clair sort of disappeared when he went to the side of it, to the um, fire pit. It wasn't as strong it was round a corner so I want to be able to hear this water like it's trickling down the mountain and I know he'll be able to do it for me because he is fantastic so I can't wait to see what he does <laughs> so after interviewing the customer um, she expressed her thoughts um, what did you take from that conversation I like it what are her goals for this um, that she'd like the uh, upper waterfall to be as high as possible and to not have dry gravel so like a dry creek bed looking at the end where the basin is so we'll make sure that we have a bib liner to have the water extend as close to this patio where they are going to be sitting as possible that was my take on it too go as high as we can as long as we can and just do a good job. Ready? Let's make some magic. I like it. All right, so it's the next day, and I let the guys go all on their own yesterday. So I'm really anxious to see how this job came out. Let's go in the backyard and check it out. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Isn't it gorgeous? Wow. It came out a lot different, isn't it? It's got beautiful sound to it. 
So what did you think of the project? Did it come out as expected? It's fierce. It's very different to what I expected. And I like it better. We've met your expectations or? Absolutely. And the yep. guys were so nice. Yep. You like working with them? It's Yeah, I did very much. And this is really fierce. I love the sound. I love it. Good. It can't be by a real river. You've done the next best thing. So nice to work with people who are nice to work with. They were fun and serious and good workers. Good. Mm -hmm. So start to finish, is it hard to believe that yesterday morning? We keep Julia, especially, she shakes her head all the time. She says, can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it. Ooh, great. I like it.